of the Tea Party. Do you remember this? Our government is out of control. We're spending trillions of dollars that we don't have. We're overspending. We're, we're being taxed to the hilt. And we want people to understand that, that we're tired of this and we don't, want to, we don't want to pay for people who can't pay for themselves. It's ridiculous. We don't have the money. We want to make a stand while we can. Have you had enough of big government and big unions and big bailout businesses scratching each other's back? We all share a common purpose. Fiscal sanity back to Washington. This year, no big rally, so what is the Tea Party doing? Dying down or growing stronger? Joining us, three Tea Party members, Kelly Carinder of the Tea Party Patriots, Sal Russo of the Tea Party Express, and Lori Nordvig of the Richmond Tea Party. Larry, what's the story? There are no uh, rallies today. Um, what, uh, what should we read into that? Well, I think it's uh, the Tea Party has taken their tri-cornered hats and their pitchforks and torches, and they've kind of tossed them in the corner for a while, and they've put on a business suit like I have right now. Um, we are getting stronger, I think, but we're a little bit under the radar right now because we're engaging in the political process itself. So we're looking at candidates, vetting them, getting them elected. Uh, we're looking into court, maybe a Board of Supervisors meeting or a Senate hearing. Uh, those are the kind of activities that the Tea Party is up to right now. Okay, Kelly, out in Seattle, Washington, um, Tea Party growing out there, and uh, what's you know, is there? Are there no festivities or anything today? Yeah, actually, Tea Party Patriots has house parties happening in homes across America. Uh, we made a 30-minute movie about the IRS targeting, why that can happen with the current tax code and and the bureaucracy that lies behind the IRS. Uh, and then talks to people, it's a call to action to say we need real reform, which actually includes something as big as repealing the 16th Amendment. We, we're tired of tinkering around the edges. And right now, tonight, across America, people are educating their friends and their neighbors and their families in their own homes with our movie. Sal, the Tea Party Express, uh, give me the update. Well, uh, I think the Tea Party movement started off, as you pointed out, as a noisy protest movement. But once Scott Brown got, elect, uh, got elected in Massachusetts, it demonstrated the principal point of the Tea Party Express is if you want to change the policies in Washington, you have to change the players. So we're actually starting our ninth national bus tour uh, this Saturday in uh, Fort Myers, Florida. We're going to be going to, I think, 15 states. Uh, we've already done 412 rallies, and our goal is to keep Tea Party people engaged in the political process and doing everything they can to change those players in Washington. Kelly, do you need a leader of the Tea Party? Would that help in some way? And if so, you know, who would you look to? We are all leaders. We've said that for five years. Every single person, every single mom, every single dad, every single teacher, firefighter, anybody that's part of the Tea Party is a leader. And that is actually what is so amazing about this movement. We don't need to look up to somebody else. Uh, we, are, we are strong in our own rights as individuals, as families, as neighbors. And it's that person-to-person -person contact that's happening tonight in these house parties that is going to make the difference because we don't need a, a politician to lead us. We can lead ourselves. Larry, um, you know, there have been some nasty comments by some about the Tea Party. Um, does that sting? Mm, no, I think, it, you know, the old saying that if you're catching the most flack, you're over the target applies here. I think we're a very real threat, more so than ever, because we have moved into the political landscape. Uh, in fact, down in the Richmond Tea Party area, uh, the Tea Party is challenging Eric Cantor right now in the primaries. Uh, coming up June 10th, we've got a candidate, Dave Bratt, that Tea Party is behind. And uh, I know it's got some people worried down there. Do you have a favorite on the presidential landscape, Larry? Right on now. The, on the presidential yeah. landscape? I have two or three that are tied. Who, who right do you now. like? Who, give me an idea who. Well, I realize it's early, but tell me who you like. You know whose ideas I really like? I, I'll say a name. It's Senator Mike Lee, but he doesn't show any inclination to run, so maybe I need to call him up. All something. right. Uh, Sal, what about you? Is there someone who you find attractive on sort of the, the national, the presidential landscape? I realize that this is grassroots and stuff, but who do you like? I think we have a great collection of candidates. Uh, when I, I think I saw a ballot the other day that had 27 candidates on there. And it includes some of our Tea Party favorites, Rand Paul, Ted Cruz, Marco Rubio. I mean, we've got a rich collection of candidates for 2016, and I think we're going to have a very strong Tea Party back presidential nominee in 2016. Kelly, you, what do you think? I'll tell you, anybody who promotes our values of personal freedom, economic freedom, and a debt-free future is, is the person I'm going to be voting for. 
Sal, do you think that the uh, Tea Party gets uh, un uh, unfairly, you know, I don't know, what's the word, demonized by member some members of politics? Sure. I mean, all political movements get demonized because they're shaking up the establishment. I mean, remember, the Tea Party started in 2009 out of frustration with both the Republican and Democratic parties. We felt that both parties were spending too much, creating too much debt, over-regulating the economy. So, you know, the establishment doesn't like to be shaken up, but it, it's good for the system. Uh, and I think as these ideas the Tea Parties are putting forward get adopted, the country's going to be better off. And if you look at the news coverage today, what is all the news coverage about in Washington? It's what Marco Rubio is saying. It's what Mike Lee is saying. It's what Ted Cruz is saying. It's what Rand Paul is saying, going to Detroit, going to the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, going to Howard University. The Tea Party people are the ones that have the energy, the ideas. They're the ones that are going to make the change that will get our economy growing again. And I think that's the strength of the Tea Party is our focus is on the economic issues, get this economy moving. This recovery from the recession is the worst in modern history. You can't grow an economy when it's overtaxed, overregulated, and have an unsustainable and debt. Panel, thank you very much.